What happens when you die to your mind simulation? Um, my implementation ceases. So basically the thing that implements myself will no longer be present. Got it. Which means if I am not implemented on the minds of other people, the thing that I identify with. This, the, the weird thing is I don't actually have an identity beyond the identity that I construct. If I was the Dalai Lama, uh, he identifies as a form of government. So basically the Dalai Lama gets reborn, not because he's confused, but uh, because he is Uh, not identifying as a human being. He runs on a human being. He's basically a governmental software right. that is instantiated in every new generation and you. So his advisors will pick someone who does this in the next generation. So if you identify with this, you are no longer a human and you don't die in the sense. So what dies is only the body of the human that you run on. Yeah. He, uh, to kill the Dalai Lama, you'd have to kill his tradition. And uh, if we look at ourselves, we realize that we are to a small part like this, most of us. So, for instance, if you have children, you realize something lives on yeah. in them. Or if you spark an idea in the world, something lives on. Or if you identify with a society around you. Because you are part that. You're not just this human being. 